Hello, good afternoon and welcome to our final um, webinar in this series of webinars. My name's Layla and this is... I'm Joe. And we're lucky to have Joe with us today because he is our musician for our company and also he makes all the music for our shows and our creative play sessions. So we are, our company is called Travel Companions and we're a theatre company that specialise in creating original, original mag magical and interactive theatre for young audiences and their families. We tour to theatres and also to community venues and we also deliver creative play sessions such as these for families to engage in together. So our work is often uses minimal language and we have lots of sensory elements within our shows and our creative play sessions and we always aim to use things and objects and props that can be easily recreated in a home environment. Um, so just a little recap, last session we looked a lot on um, about how you can mirror your child's behaviour back to them and we looked at the tensions that we can have before bedtime. Uh, the idea of mirroring is so that we can give our child a different perspective and also give them some ownership of their own behaviour and we find that this can be a really effective method, uh, especially during bedtime. Uh, we looked at how we could use puppetry um, using simple household objects like a, um, a cushion and a blanket. We created a little sock monster character. Um, we find that this can be really helpful in order to display some emotions that might be hard for your child to uh, verbalise because um, it's a non-threatening way, it's not um, a big adult trying to show these emotions but also it can be a lot of fun and to try and put our emotions onto a household object. Um, we looked at breath and we used our five more minutes hands um, in order to give us a, uh, like a meditation task for our child and we also looked at the impact of putting breath on our objects so we had our our character breathing really calmly and we had him breathing really fast and panicky and this helped us to um, to display some of the emotions and how important it is for our breath to impact our emotions 
So today's session is going to be more about how we can change our environment around us in order to create a calm space or a space that can invite creative play or conversation. Um, one of the things that came up for us when talking to children about bedtime was that sometimes they felt um, that the dark and the nighttime was a little bit scary. So this is something that we wanted to look at when we created our show, but also in terms of helping our children get a good night's sleep. Um, so some things that we can do to overcome this is to have, have a light for them nearby, such as a torch. This can be a really helpful tool. Um, and also just kind of trying to think of some games that we can play around uh, nighttime and around the dark. And often it's good to try these things in maybe when it's not just before bedtime. So it's a, a safe environment and also we can stop the game whenever. So we'll be doing a few of these tasks today with you and hopefully giving you some things that you can take forwards in the future. So the point of our show um, we have a moment where it goes really, really dark and we went in, we try all of our work out in schools or nursery settings to see how the children respond. And it was quite fascinating when we told the teachers that we were going to have the lights really dark, there was a little bit of apprehension um, and the thought that it could create some hysteria amongst the children. Uh, but what we actually found was the opposite. Everybody was really calm. We gave each child a torch and um, a little mirror ball, a little prop that they had to stand up, walk across the dark space and hang in quite a, quite a meticulous way. And, um, and it just, the whole space went really quiet and really focused. And it was just a really beautiful moment um, to show how actually when you give the child the responsibility and the ownership of of the torch and the light, how well they can respond to this. So just a reminder that this session is for you and your child. So if your child's wandered out of the room, now's probably a good time to bring them back in. And we're gonna invite you to join us for the next 40 minutes or so in um, a fun, creative session. There'll probably be a lot of silliness. There's no right and wrong. Um, and we encourage you to follow the play of your child. So feel free to dip in and out as you, as you feel necessary. We're going to be making lots of noise with our voices. We're going to be doing lots of movements and, and it should be a, a really nice 40 minutes for you and your child to experience together. Fabulous. Oh, just before we start, I'd also like to thank Abu Dhabi Childhood, Early Childhood Authority for making all of these sessions possible. I think we're ready to start. Okay. Yeah. Fabulous, right, okay. So uh, make sure you've got a little bit of space to work in. Uh, you're not going to bash into anything or anybody and we're going to start by getting our bodies nice and warm so and uh, let's rub our hands together and we're thinking about that theatre magic our hands should be getting a bit warm and we're just going to rub them over our arms and our shoulders that's it and let's go rub your hands together let's get our other arm and our other shoulder and rub them together again and let's just imagine we're rub, washing our face with theatre magic lots of lovely expressions today and <laughs> lovely and again <laughs> and this time really giving your face a little bit of a massage imagine you're rubbing that soap all over your face lovely and let's get behind our heads yeah, waking up all those nerve endings and rub your hands together. And let's get our tummies nice and warm and our chest and our backs. And let's stand on one leg. Lovely. Can you balance? And underneath your foot, let's get everything really warm. And your other leg. And get your feet really warm. Okay, and shake your hands. Now it's all about bedtime, so let's give our bodies a big stretch and a yawn. Oh. Yes, let's make as much noise as we can. Oh. Oh, one last time. Oh. Lovely. Right, so today we are going to be thinking about all things that are dark. We're going to be thinking about the sky above us and we're going to have a trip to space. Wow. 
so what things do we need to do if we're an astronaut? We're somebody that's going into space. What's it really important that we do? Well, we have to be... We have to be really healthy. Yes. So let's think about um, astronaut training. We have to keep ourselves fit. So we're going to run as fast as we can on the spot. Off we go. Run, 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 run. When I say stop, you're going to make a star. Run and stop. Lovely, a bright shining star in that sky. Can you twinkle your fingers and twinkle your toes? And run as fast as you can. Stop. Fabulous. And run as fast as you can. This time we're going to stop in a big moon shape. So we're thinking about drawing a circle around ourselves. Let's run as fast as we can. And moon. Yeah, nice. We've got lots of different types of moons. And let's run as fast as we can. A big circle moon. Moon. Lovely. Now this time, when we stop, we're going to go into our crescent moon. So leaning over to one side. Let's run as fast as you can. And moon. Lovely. And let's go to the other side. Moon. Very good. And now let's imagine we're a great rocket flying into space. So you're going to drum your heels together and see what that does to your voice. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Let me fly. Let's do that one more time, and then I think we're nearly warm. Let's five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. <laughs> okay, so I think we're probably fit enough to go into space. What else do we do to keep fit, though? It's not just exercise, is it? You have to eat lots of healthy food. Okay, healthy food. So, let's imagine we've got a big, hot, steaming bowl of curly, whirly spaghetti. Can you say that? Curly, curly whirly, whirly spaghetti. spaghetti. Lovely. Let's see if we can say it really quietly. Lovely. Now let's see if we can make our mouths really big and wide and really loud. Curly, whirly, spaghetti. Fabulous. Well, mine looks good, but it's not quite ready. It needs a few more ingredients. What do we like to put on spaghetti? Oh, sauce. Oh, sauce. Lovely. Okay, let's get a spoonful of sauce. And throw it on. And again. Sometimes my sauce comes in a squeezy bottle. Let's put some of that on. Lovely. What else do we need on our spaghetti? Cheese. Oh, cheese. I'm going to grate my cheese on. So get your grater and your cheese. And... Lovely. What about a bit of salt? Yeah. And pepper? Yes. Right, I think it's ready to eat. Get your forks, stick it in, and let's twirl it round our fork. Lovely, really nice, making a circle with your hands. And lift it up, open your mouth wide. Oh, it's a bit hot. We need to blow it. <sighs> okay, and let's eat that spaghetti. Mmm, I'm going to chew it. Mmm, I'm going to chew it really well. Mm. Mm. Oh, hang on. Mm. My arms are going curly whirly. Oh, and Joe's. <laughs> and your arms are going curly whirly. Oh, and my hips are going curly whirly. And my head's going curly whirly. And get that spaghetti. 
and let's stretch it and make it as wide as a house and as small as a mouse. What noise does a mouse make? As round as a ball, a bouncing ball. Boing, boing, boing. And let's shake it all out. Okay, we're warm. Our voices are a little bit warm. Our bodies are a lot warm. Joe, would you like to help us warm our voices up a little bit more? Okay, um, yes, let's try and see if we can make the lowest noise you can if you just do a little. Very good. I'll see if you can make the highest noise you can. Turn and the lowest again. And the highest again. Now we're going to start with the lowest note and we're going to go up to the highest note. So start with the low. Oh. Oh. Back down again. Oh. High to low. Oh. Very good. Very good. Maybe we need to get our lips moving a little good bit. Good idea. So we have to just give them a little rub. Now put your lips together. Can you put your lips together? And can you blow and make a noise like this? <laughs> And you make that noise go up and down, up and down. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, does a bit. <laughs> right then, do you think we can turn that into a rocket noise? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, okay, so should we try? Um, you could either go, you could either do the end, the, the noise of the engines, which okay. would be like that. Yeah. And go up as high as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Very good. Right, shall we move on? We've got a tongue twister. So this is something to help us really pronounce our words. Um, so it goes like this. There's a chip shop in space. Everyone repeats. There's, There's a, a chip, chip shop, shop in space. space. That sells. That, that sells. Spaceship shaped chips. Spaceship shaped chips. Great, should we try that again? There's a There's chip, a chip shop, shop in space. In space. That sells spaceship shaped chips. Okay, all together. There's a chip shop in space that sells spaceship shaped chips. Should we see if we can go a bit faster? Shall we? Yeah. There's a chip shop in space that sells spaceship shaped chips. There's a chip shop in space that sells spaceship shaped chips. There's, There's a chip, chip shop in space, space that, that sells spaceship shaped chips. chips. Now, with your grown up and your little one, you're going to have a little race. Are you ready? One, two, three. There's, There's a, chip a chip shop, shop in space, space that, that sells spaceship shaped chips. Oh, I think it was a draw. <laughs> Let's go again. One, two, three. There's, There's a, chip a chip shop in space, space that, that sells spaceship shaped chips. chips. Oh, very, very good. Close. Okay, now, just before we get going, let's just imagine our faces are made of clay. I'm going to think about all the emotions that we looked at last week. So I'm going to turn my face with my clay face. I'm going to make a really happy face. Think about my smile and my eyes. And I'm going to get that face. And I'm going to throw it to Joe. <gasps> Lovely. And Joe is going to throw his face to you. Make sure you catch it. Lots of smiley faces. Yes. Lovely. Okay, and now I'm going to put my face maker out of clay and I'm going to make a really, oh, oh, really sad face, Joe. Oh, oh, I'm going to get it, I'm going to throw it at Joe. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to throw it at all oh. the 
Joe's Are you ready? <laughs> oh no! And get rid of those faces! Okay, last one. We're going to make our faces really silly this time. I'm going to make a silly face. I'm going to throw it at Joe. <gasps> Joe's gonna throw his face at you. Make sure you catch it. Lovely, and just rub those faces away. Okay, right. Our faces are warm, our bodies are warm, and our voices are warm. So let's get going. So you need to make your fists nice and tight, and we're gonna rub our eyes. <coughs> Lovely. Let's try that again. <coughs> Now you're going to imagine that it's really late at night. You're going to get rid of all the day and you're just going to shake your faces. <laughs> Lovely. Let's put them two together. <laughs> <laughs> and scratch your heads. <laughs> Lovely. Let's try that one again. <laughs> now you've got lots of earwax in your ear, so you're going to get one out. <laughs> Lovely. Other side. And we're going to end with a lovely yawn. <sighs> Why don't we do that all together? Here goes. cushions and your blankets and anything else you might find in your house we're going to make a really cozy space so we're just going to give a couple of minutes you might think about your lights you might think about your cushions or even you might bring a little cuddly toy so we're going to spend a couple of minutes just to get our space nice and cozy cushion oh i'm going to close the curtain make it dark you want to turn your lights off, you can. Turn this one off. Oh, and you've got a cosy blanket. And our cuddly toy. 
and if you've got a torch, now might be a good time to put it on. to wear when we go to space. Space helmet? A space helmet, of course. Okay, so get your helmet, it's quite heavy. <laughs> and lock it into place. <laughs> yeah, okay, and what else do we need? Um, a space suit. A space suit. Okay, so get your space suit. 
and put one leg in and the other one and we get up and one arm and the other arm and zip it up now mine's got buckles in to keep everything tight right what else do we need oh what about our feet boots Face boots. Okay, let's get our face boots on. Okay, so I've got my boots, my suit, and my helmet. A jetpack. Okay, these are quite heavy, so you might need to help each other. So I'm gonna hold your jetpack, Joe. Okay. And two arms. Oh, I'm gonna do the big belt up. And the big belt. Oh, oh, okay, it's quite hurting now. Yeah. Are you going to be okay lifting mine up? Okay. One arm, yeah. two arms, yeah. big belt. <laughs> okay, you'll feel that your bodies are quite heavy now, so let's just have a little walk in our space suits. Right, we are going to jump into our rocket. Are you ready? It's going to be quite heavy. One, two, three. Okay, what do we need when we're in our rocket? Uh, we need to... Seatbelts. Seatbelts. Okay. And we need to press the buttons. Okay, so... Okay, so let's get our engines going. You're gonna drum your heels into the floor. Making your engines going, thinking about the noises we used before them. And we're going to do our countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! And it goes so fast, your face is flying back. A bit wobbly. Oh, and we're starting to slow down a bit. And the brakes come on and our face just comes forward. And oh, oh. everything's a bit floaty up here. Wow, okay. If you want to, you can take your seatbelts off and have a float around our rocket. So there's no gravity or less gravity up here. Can you see anything out the windows? I can see the moon. What can you see, Joe? Can you Ooh, see anything? I can see some asteroids. Oh, some asteroids. And this might be a good time to practice some of our anti-gravity training. So, if you've got a blanket, you could hold, if there's two people, you can hold either end and you can put your little one, so we'll start low, I'll just move the camera so you can see. So if you've got two of you, or you can do this with your cuddly toy, so you can have, give your cuddly toy a ride, or if you've got two grown-ups, you can give your little one a ride, so we're really thinking about keeping it nice and gentle and letting them experience no weight. And you want to try and encourage them to make some sounds. They can make some sounds of floating. And you can encourage your little one to use their imaginations and think what they might see in the sky. And it's also a really lovely opportunity to give your little ones a bit of control. So they might want to either by using their voices or using their hands, they might want to point to a direction. So they might point to come this way, or the other way. They might want to go forwards, or backwards. They might want to take a really slow swing from side to side. Or they might like it a bit more bouncy. So you can have a little play with your child here to figure out what how they would like it and also just remember when you're letting them down keep it nice and slowly it's good exercise as well for our arms here and make sure that they feel really safe now if there is just one person one grown-up you can also do it like this 
So your list one sits on the edge of the blanket, make sure that they are um, feeling safe before you move. And then grown-ups, you can hold one side. Yeah, if you grab the two end corners of the blanket and bring them together, it makes it a little bit easier. Hopefully your little one won't be as big as me. And you can go on a little ride. And you can experience the anti-gravity of space. Then you can have a real play with that again, using your imaginations and getting your child to think of different ways that they might want to go or different, um, whether it's fast or whether it's slow. So let them be in charge for this. Fabulous. Now, I wonder whether it's time to see if our jetpacks work, Joe. Good idea. Okay, so once you've experienced the gravity, now we're going to experience our jetpacks. So you're going to put them on. Uh, let's see if we can go this way, and the other way, and round in a circle, and the other way. Whoa, can we go forwards, and backwards, I can see a planet. Shall we use our jetpacks to land on this planet? So, yeah. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. So we need to float down. How low can we get? Are we going to land? Oh, we made it! Oh, oh the ground here is a bit squidgy Ooh, and no. sludgy and it's quite tricky to move. Let's see if we can get our legs out. Oh, one really stuck and the other one. And have a little play of walking around your planet. Oh, it seems to be changing. This ground keeps changing. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's gone all bouncy. It's gone all bouncy. Let's have a bounce around your planet. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, oh, it's gone slippy. Oh, Joe, I think we might be able to skate on this one. Are you ready? I am. Oh, it's gone dark. It's gone dark. C can you see? Not very well, no. Oh, I can't see you, Joe. Where are you? I'm, I'm over here. I can't see you. I'm, I'm, I'm over here. Oh. I can't see. Oh. Oh, phew. Oh, I'm not sure if I like that very much. So I think this planet might get dark quite quickly. Yeah. Shall we do some exercises to see, to prepare us for the dark? That was a good idea. Okay. Okay, so a really easy way to experience dark is to close your eyes. So let's all close our eyes really tight. Ah, let's open them. Oh, it's not too bad actually. No, right, let's yeah. go again, let's close them really tight. And open them. Okay, so here's a good little game that you can play together. So one of you um, is going to close your eyes or you could use a blindfold or a blanket. So we're gonna shut all the lights out and the person with their eyes closed, they're gonna hold their hands out in front of them. And the other person, is going to put their hands on top, just nice and gently, and you're just going to have a couple of minutes of leading your partner around the room. So grown-ups, if you're leading your little ones, just make sure that your touch is just enough so that they, they know that they're safe. You might want to use words or you might want to keep it quiet. And little ones, just see how it makes you feel. Does the room feel the same? Does it feel different? You could try with one hand. And you could try and make your partner, without using your words, see if you can make your partner maybe change levels. See if I can go in a circle. Might feel quite strange. And then just let your partner open their eyes. And just have a moment just to see how that felt. How was that, Joe? That was good, it was interesting. Okay, and now maybe have a little switch around. So 
Children, this is your chance to lead your grown-ups around the room. Um, make sure that, try and take care of them, make sure that they don't bash into anything. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes now. I can feel that Joe wants me to go down because I've put a bit more pressure on and then when he releases the pressure and know that he wants me to go up it makes the whole room feel completely different Try with one hand mm -hmm. Okay And I notice that I can hear a lot more when it's dark. I can hear the creaking in the floor. <laughs> a little bit of dancing. There. A little bit of a dance. How was that? That was good. Lovely. Okay, so give yourselves a bit of a chance to <coughs> explore that. And then if you want to make it um, a bit more complicated, you can start putting in some rules. So we're just going to do a little obstacle course. So we're going to use a box. And this box, um, let me just, the camera, let me just adjust the camera so you can see. So in ours, we have to go around that box once. Or let's say twice. And we have to go on top of the cushion. So we have to stand on the cushion. So you're going to need to find a way to communicate with your grown-up or your little one. And the last task, we're going to go under the blanket. Okay, so with your little ones, just come up with a little obstacle course. Maybe later on you might want to do this all around the house or even in, in an outdoor space. And you can get really adventurous with that. So we're just going to have a couple of minutes to try it out. So, are you ready, Joe? Yes. I'm going to lead you around. Okay. So my eyes are closed. Eyes are closed. Out. Okay. So I'm just making sure I've got good contact. I'm trying to be really clear with my instructions. And also just being really wary that Things do feel different in the dark when you've got your eyes closed. So just walking around in a circle could make you feel a little bit dizzy. Okay, so trying to clear, uh, do that message. Trying not to touch, I'm just trying to touch Joe's hand. There we go. Sorry, Joe, you can open your eyes there. Okay. That was good. Great, and, um, and let's, let's swap around if you haven't already and let's have the other person have a chance. Again, this is something you can do, something you can do in your own time when you've got a bit more space and time. It's a really good way of getting to know your space in a different way. I can feel the light of our window there. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> hey, and this is a tricky bit now. And try not to touch it. And there you go. You can open your eyes now. Phew, fabulous. Okay, so I think we're ready now to build our space mountain. Right, okay. So once you've just finished off that exercise, we're going to build a space mountain. You're going to use all the objects <coughs> that you want. Um, try and use things that are really nice and soft and malleable. So we're going to pile all these things on top of to make a big hill and we've got some shiny fabric here but you can use anything. There we go, let's make some space rocks, shiny space, space rocks. Space rocks. Move this out of the way. 
and we've got our space mountain. Let's see what we might see on our space mountain. for that session and um, I hope you found some value and some ideas that you might use at home with your little ones and I hope you uh, managed to join in with some of our exercises um, so obviously in your own time you've got lots more time to do things um, the dark exercise is really good to just let that grow and see what you might find with your little one um, I'm just going to just open the, if you've got any questions about either this session or any of the other sessions or 
any kind of creative play um, bedtime related questions, um, please feel free to write them in the chat box and we will do our best to answer them um, as they come up. Um, and I just want to talk a little bit about some of the um, techniques we use. So we used our torchlight a lot um, in that and we find that this can be really handy as a tool that your child could have um, with them by their bed so that they always know that if if they need to, they, they can see. Um, we use some really, really simple sh uh, shadow puppetry, which um, can definitely be recreated at home and just get the light. Um, so we've got, first of all, we've got our mirror ball, which just makes for a really beautiful and kind of a calm, it's got a bit of movement in it, there's a lovely calm space. We can also, with this, make start to make little stories. So there we've got a moon um, and we've used this kaleidoscope, but I'm sure you could use anything to become a rocket that could go around the moon. So straight away, without doing very much, you've got the opportunity for um, some storytelling with your little one, which can make the dark automatically just seem like quite an exciting space rather than a daunting space. Um, in our session then we created little characters with our light. So we had let me make that a bit smaller. Um, so we had our little sounds that my mum had like a sound and Joe's had a very good and we had a little competition where we had a bouncing competition. Sorry, I've got the wrong sound. <laughs> So you've got, you can incorporate numbers here. We've got competition. Then we've also got the opportunity here to have some uh, other storytelling opportunities. So we've got this big one, go to bed. Um, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. So with your little ones, you can kind of, um, you can make up your own stories and it's a good opportunity for you to find out perhaps what might be um, causing anticipation because it's a, a, a it, rather than having a conversation, it's um, about playing and finding out um, what's going on in your little one's head. Um, Joe, would you like to just tell us a little bit more about um, the music, um, some music ideas that you use when, when working in like a creative play setting? Yes, well I tried to um, maybe look at the games that we're doing and create sounds um, to go along with it. So obviously we had the rocket and that's got its own noise. Um, but um, we also included, um, for, for the show we did, I, I wrote the um, lullaby music um, and Singing songs together is a great thing to do. Um, now, if you're if you, if you're happy enough to have a go at making up your own songs, that's a really nice thing. Or even get your your children to make up their own songs. That can be just a really nice way of uh, of communicating together. Um, or if you can find some simple songs that you know your child likes, if you sing them together. Things like that are always really good. Um, I find. We do, in our sessions, I try to make all the music inclusive in some way. And one way to do that is to get the children involved by creating our own musical instruments, which is very easy to do. And the easiest way to do something like that is to create some simple percussion instruments out of household things. So here I've just got a jar that's got some um, uh, chickpeas in. It's just an old jar and you can just shake that, but because it's a jar that's got a metal lid, it can make different sounds, so you can shake it like that or you can shake it like that. So that's nice and you can make a, a rhythm along to any music or... So this is just an old tin and it's a nice drum, but again, it makes different sounds on different parts of it. So you hit the top of it, it sounds like that. Bottom's a bit like that. If you move it around, do you, want to, do you want to do some shaking? Yeah. I just 
just a really simple way just to make some noises and make some music and maybe even do some dancing to that. That's just really, really nice. Uh, a lot of our parents that we work with um, often say, oh, I can't play anything or, or I feel nervous when singing. And um, what we found is, as well as be offer it to the child, they will often help lead help me that for you and um and yeah i think you can't go wrong with this. you can't go wrong with this so it's uh it's really interesting as well uh working with joe when we take our work into schools and nurseries um we specifically find that children who might not always participate as much as other children in various settings as soon as we put the music on there's a real sense of focus and we find that some of the children are just kind of hypnotized by the sounds that joe is making and also you kind of see them mirroring um some of the things that joe's doing so i think music is music and not just music but sound is a really good to thing to incorporate in everyday life in creative play but also to aid in bedtime just having a simple a simple sound cue or a shh can just help change the environment quite dramatically. Have we got any questions? No questions? No? Nope. Well, thank you so much for um, joining us for either just this session or for all three sessions. It's been really a brilliant thing for us to uh, be part of during this strange time um, and I'd just like to again say thank you to the Abu Dhabi Early Childhood Authority for making this um, possible. Uh, any feedback that you have it'd be really great if you could feed this back so that we can make improvements um, for the future. Thank you very much I hope you've enjoyed the session and I hope that you can maybe maybe try some of these out tonight in your bedtime routine. So goodbye! Bye. Thank you.